Good afternoon, everybody. It's Justice for Comics. It is New Comic Book Wednesday. I'm going to be reviewing books that are coming out next Wednesday, October 9th. So I wanted to highlight a few things first. I uh, got a couple of books in the mail today. Uh, one of my ordered a little while ago was Absolute Carnage, Symbiote of Vengeance. Uh, this is the scan cover. This was an exclusive... Uh, yeah, the Comic Mint was the website. Uh, so out of 600, this is number 598, so that's pretty cool. I always thought it would be cool to either have the first issue of the run or the last. <laughs> so I was pretty close. I was only two away from the last. Um, but yeah, so there's only 600 of these. Yeah, I mean, it sells. I, I, think, I think I paid around $30 for it. It sells consistently around 40 I think. So it's gone up a little bit in price. Uh, can't, I think there is something significant in this. I'll have to read it. I just can't remember. There's so much stuff coming out right now. First appearances, this is happening. I just, it's hard to keep up with it all, but, um, haven't read this yet, but I just got that in the mail. Really cool looking cover by Scan. So looking forward to reading that. Uh, I also got this, I got this yesterday. I didn't highlight it in my yesterday's video, but this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 97. This is the N. Hook Lee variant. Um, pretty cool on the white background. So, yeah, seems to be a pretty popular book. Uh, I think I also, I think I did mention this one. This was a variant that Marcus sent me of that same issue. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I like that. I like that sketch look. Also in the mail today, now I, I've gotten, I've had this, I highlighted this. This is the uh, Kale No variant. Uh, I think it's pronounced no. It's N-G-U is his last name. Um, I think he's a Filipino artist. He's very, very good. I, I love his stuff. He's got a lot of nice stuff coming out. He's also got a cover coming out um, for Marvel Zombies that looks really nice. I, it's a homage to Hulk, uh, Incredible Hulk 181. Looks really, really good. Uh, so this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number, I think this is number 90... 97, yeah. That's number 97. And I also picked up his copy of number 98. Picked up two copies of that. Uh, really cool dynamic action pose there. So basically, they're gonna. he's drawing action sequences. This is them jumping off the top of a building. This is them flying down. Then the next, the number 99, will be them sort of in a landing pose. And then number 100 i believe that which they haven't shown a cover of it'll show them on the ground uh all by the same artist uh kyle N kale is it c a it's k a e l kyle kale i don't know i'm not very good at pronouncing names so i did it on the best efforts <laughs> so i'll say i'll say kale no probably butchered it but um yeah he's a real good artist i like his artwork so got two of those very nice those were limited out of uh, out of 500, so a little lower print run on those. I got number 112 and 111, so pretty nice. All right, let's jump into it here with the books that are coming out next Wednesday, the 9th of October. Uh, Dark Horse, Black Hammer, uh, Justice League, Hammer of Justice number four. Um, I like Black Hammer. I... I read the first two issues of this series it was pretty good so i'm going to continue with it uh kind of choose the cover that you like um i think this andrew robinson cover is pretty cool i kind of like that cover um a cover is not bad either it's got zantana on the cover which is kind of cool uh yeah this one's kind of interesting batman sitting on a windmill <laughs> Okay, interesting. Um, the Tyler Crook is nice, too. That one's kind of nice. Yeah, so I, you just pick the one that you like, I suppose, but a couple nice covers there. So that I think that does it for Dark Horse for me. I don't see anything else there that I was really interested in. Uh, for DC... Uh, I'm not. I kind of stopped collecting Batman and the Outsiders, but I do like that cover by... Uh, Steven Segovia, very nice. 
He, it definitely has that Matina, I don't know, darker, darker look to it. So it's pretty cool looking. I like that cover. Uh, let's see here. Batman, Batman's Grave, number one. I don't, you know, Warren Ellis is a pretty good writer, so I think I pre-ordered this Ji Hung Lee cover. I like Ji Hung Lee's art. I like it much better than Brian Hitch's, so I, I did grab that first issue. I don't know if I'll continue with it or not, uh, but but did pick up the Ji Hung Lee cover, so we'll should be getting that soon. Uh, let's see what else here that I find interesting with DC. Uh, Vent Leviathan. Not been real impressed with this. I don't hear anybody really talking about it. Um, yeah, I mean, basically in the comic book community, people are talking about more Marvel books. Uh, House of X, Powers of X, uh, Immortal Hulk, Silver Surfer Black, you know, the, uh, Absolute Carnage. I'm not really hearing any buzz or anybody talking about some of the DC events. So this event is, in my opinion, a failure. No one's talking about it. Um, I even I forgot it was still coming out. So I probably pre-ordered that. I'm sure I pre-ordered every issue of that event, but I'm a little disappointed in DC on that event. I just don't think it's that good. Uh, let's see here. What else did was interesting to me? Uh, I am interested in this Joker, Joker, Harley, Criminal Insanity. Pretty, both nice covers. You've got the A cover, which is, I think, the one I pre-ordered with the Matina. Uh, I didn't, didn't see the Mayhew cover. It looks like a photo, though. Man, I mean, if that's a, it's a drawing. It's amazing. It looks like a photograph. Uh, so Mike Mayhew is known for doing that. He's pretty good. But, you know, you've got internal artwork by Sorrentino, so it's probably a good book to pick up. Make sure you pick that up. There's also a Miko Suyan cover, which is kind of cool. Got a little black and white. I'm battling a cold, so my voice is not up to par lately. Sorry about that. Uh, Joker Year of the Villain. Um, I didn't... I believe I pre-ordered the A cover just to have it, but I know I've got several store variants that are coming to me. Um, just about every online store is doing a... A Joker, Year of the Villain, number one cover. So plenty of them out there. Find the one that you like. Uh, nice cover by Perillo on Justice League Odyssey. He's been doing those B covers pretty consistently. It's a beautiful cover. Very nice. Uh, RWBY, I guess this is more of a manga type book. Um, I do like Jim Lee's artwork, so... I you know I I don't know if I make I don't know if I like it enough to buy it because I'm really not into that genre of comic book but I do normally like Jim Lee's artwork so that's worth taking note of. All right, moving down the list, I might do it for DC. I noticed Frizen is not doing the B cover for Wonder Woman eighty. That's interesting. I know she comes back to because I've pre-ordered a couple that or that, that she's done on like 84, 85, I believe. All right, so that does it for DC, Dynamite Entertainment. Wasn't really anything there um, that looked interesting to me. Just a lot of Vampirella, Red Sonia, stuff like that. Uh, IDW, same kind of thing there. Nothing, nothing I really read. So it's probably a hard pass for me on that. So I we move on to image. Uh Ice Cream Man number 15. I think I pre-ordered. I think I pre-ordered both those covers. I'll have to check back and look. But I like I think if I had to pick one, I like the B cover a little bit better. I'm a sucker for a red cover. And I like that cover a lot, so I would pick up that one if I had to choose. Uh, I think that might be it for him. Uh, Spawn 301, obviously, hopefully you pre-ordered this stuff. I look, yeah, They're going to print a ton of this, so don't worry about it being sold out. Pick the cover that you like. I think the one I pre-ordered was the Matina cover. I believe I also pre-ordered the Alex Ross version, which is nice. Got to love that cover. And I also pre-ordered the 
Sinkovich Virgin cover, which is cool. Very nice. Um, for those that are G. Scott Campbell fans, I'm sure you're going to pick up that one. I mean, I not not normally like I'm not into J. Scott Campbell's artwork normally, but I do admit this is a nice cover, nice nice colors, pretty cool concept. So I do like it. And was there a Clayton Crane cover? Yeah, there was. There, I missed that. There's a, a Crane cover which looks pretty cool too. I don't think there's a version of that. I think it's just the trade dress. So yeah, pick the one that you like. There's plenty of them. Groundbreaking book, though. Uh, made Guinness Book of World Records for the longest-running independent comic book title. Beating out uh, Cerebus by Dave Sim. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think that might be it for Image. Moving on to Marvel. Um, Absolute Carnage, Miles Morales, number three. Really like this cover. Uh, that's a total cover buy for me. Now, that reminds me of Clayton Crane's older work. Uh, older work. If you look at some of his work on the the Carnage series from 2011, Carnage USA, that's, you know, that really defined, smaller type artwork. You know, he, a lot of his stuff now is like enlarged profile type artwork. I prefer this style where there's just a lot going on, you know, a lot of detail, that kind of thing. So I love this cover because it's sort of a flashback to his old drawing style. He doesn't draw that much. He doesn't draw that way predominantly anymore. It's It seems like he's changed his style a little bit. Uh, moving down the list here. Um, Dr. Doom. I don't think I'm going to pick this up at all. Um, the 1 in 25 cover is nice by, Bian uh, by Bianchi. Uh, I do like this Diet Auto cover for $8.50. It's not too bad. Pretty lo pretty nice looking cover. I think if I had to choose a cover, that might be the one I'd go with. I, I wish it was cover price. I, I probably would buy it more if it was cover price, but eh, it's a little bit more. Double, Basically double cover price. All right, moving down the list here. I think we're getting near the end of Marvel. Uh, Powers of X number six. This is the last issue of the Powers of X miniseries. Uh, a cover is really nice. I'm grabbing that one. And I got to admit, I didn't pre-order any of these House of X, uh, Powers of X books. So kind of dumb on me. I mean, I didn't know if they were going to be good or not. I guess that's one of the reasons I didn't do it. Um, I don't know. I should have, obviously. I, I'm paying full retail price now. Uh, Powers of X number six, the Giuseppe Camicoli cover, foreshadow cover. It's classified. They're not showing it, so that might be worth grabbing uh, for a speculation. Could be some new character on the on the front. Who knows? That that could be a hot book. So just be aware of that. Uh, the Huddlest Huddleston variant is also uh, coming out. I'm going to pick that up. They're not showing the cover again on Midtown, but if you Google it real quick, uh, Powers of X, number six, Huddleston. I believe it does pull up an image right away. And there it is. Pretty cool. I like that. I've been liking these Huddleston variants, so I don't have every one of them, but I've got most of them. So that's the one I'm going to grab. Uh, and maybe that classified as well. And that's it for Powers of X. Uh, I think that was it for Marvel for me. I don't think there was anything else there that I felt like I had to own. Uh, Web of Black Widow number two is out. I've not been collecting this, but I do like that Stephanie Hans variant. Of course, Midtown doesn't show you what it looks like, but I did look it up. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. I know it's... I just looked it up and saw it, so I know it's out there. Oh, there it is. 
Yeah, it's a pretty nice looking cover. I don't know that it's nice enough to get me to pay 21 bucks for it, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on it, but I do like that cover. I'm trying to be a little smarter about buying stuff. You just can't buy everything, it's just too much. These days there's just way too much product being produced right now. Uh, Blade Runner number four, I've been enjoying the Blade Runner series, so I uh, highly recommend pull, you know, grab, putting that on your pull list. I think that's a good book. Good read anyways, uh, artwork's decent. Uh, for independence, I know there was a couple on here. Not familiar with all these. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Terror, season two, number one. I pre ordered that in advance. Low print run, these things sell out fast. Ahoy Comics, I don't think their print run is more than a couple thousand. So, uh, again, it's already sold out, it's only three o'clock in the afternoon. This went live around two, so in an hour, it sold out. So that tells you the print run is pretty low. Um, but they've really been a fun read, funny, you know, they're funny comic books, definitely satire, and really cool looking covers. So uh, at least I think so. I, I think that's a pretty cool cover. And you got a little Nazi, uh, a little Nazi emblem in the background. That always, that always goes over well. <laughs> There's people that collect that stuff, so that might drive the price a little bit. I'm not familiar with this book, Ginseng Roots, number one. Limit one per customer. I've never heard of the publisher, Uncivilized Books. Sounds interesting. It's sold out on Midtown. So that one might be a speculative grab. I don't know. That might be worth trying to, to pick up. Probably a low print run is my guess. Uh. I think I went through most of these. Let's see here. Fortunately, most of the titles that are independent don't have pictures. You, you can't see what the book looks like. Rise. I picked up the first issue of that, and man, that was a huge mistake. I did a whole video on it. <laughs> it's terrible. At least the first issue was. It was it was hard to read it. Uh, the the dialogue was so long, and not only long, but very difficult to read. I had to like get out my readers. Uh, I usually don't need them, but man, I, even with the readers, it was tough to read. So I'm not a fan of that book at all. All right. Uh, I think that might be... I like the name of this title, Shoplifters Will Be Liquidated. <laughs> that sounds cool. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to pick that up, but it sounds like a cool title. Superior AOC, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, you're superior. I think that's a hard pass for me. Uh, I think this is the last one I was looking at. These, uh, these Savage Shores, number five, really good book. Um, first issue has been sold out for a long time. That goes for good money. It's been a good series of writing, and the artwork is excellent. Vault Comics, I'm telling you, I've been, I've been touting them for a while. They've got some really good books coming out um, on a regular basis. These Savage Shores has been excellent. Um, uh, Heathens has been awesome. I mean, they've really got some good books, so I would definitely pick that up. I also think this is a cool looking cover by Victor Crowley's Hatchet Halloween Tales, Rich Bonk parody. So I think that is an homage to um, The Shining, right? Jack trying to break through the bathroom door. It's Johnny, is that what he says? <laughs> Here's Johnny. So that's kind of a cool looking cover. I don't don't know if that will do well, but I would speculate on that. Uh, Watcher number three, I love this cover. That's a total cover buy for me. I mean, if you don't think that's a good looking cover, you mu you must be blind because that is awesome. It's literally fire <laughs> because there's fire all over the book. So that book looks hot. Uh, I like the B cover on this too. Pretty cool looking. I don't know this artist. Gibo Vigante? Sounds Italian to me. Interesting. I like the the image there, but the, yeah, the, for sure the A cover is, that is literally fire. <laughs> so I would grab that if I were you. Uh, I think that might be it. Yeah, we're in the trade paperbacks. So that's all I had for today. New comic book day coming out. October 9th, that's a preview. 
so you can kind of make decisions on what to pick up. I kind of showed you what I like. If you guys haven't already, please um, like my videos, subscribe, share them if you can. That helps me grow my uh, channel. Really appreciate all the support. I'm over 540 subscribers now. Um, hoping to get even higher. Uh, if you, can't, if you uh, also can comment on the videos, let me know what you think. Oh, by the way, uh, last night that uh, book I highlighted sold out literally in five minutes. I talked to one of the people at Black Cape Comics, and I think they told me in three minutes and 30 seconds they had sold out of 150 copies of um, that book. The only problem with this book is I can't remember the damn title. Um, the Demon in the Sea. Oh, man, what is it? I have to Google it now because I don't think it's on Black Cape Comics website anymore. Or I'll do it Instagram. Yeah, here it is right here. So yeah, it says here it's gone all under five minutes. So Deviant Apple is the uh, um, my good man Esteban Salinas did the artwork for it. Let me go to his page. There you go. Beautiful looking piece. So that sold out, yeah, like under five minutes for sure. Um, I was lucky to get one copy. And let me tell you the secret is when you're buying a book online, um, use your phone and use Apple Pay. Uh, if you use PayPal, the process is longer because it takes you from the website to PayPal's website to authorize the purchase. Apple Pay is instantaneous. So little trick of the trade. If you're going to buy books that you are pretty sure are going to sell out fast, make sure you use Apple Pay. Uh, literally, you click on Apple Pay and you double-click the side of your phone. Boom, it's done. It literally confirms purchase immediately. So that's, I think, the only reason I was able to pick up a copy is because I used Apple Pay. I think a lot of people use PayPal, and believe me, I've been screwed big time using you know, PayPal because it takes you away from the site. And when that happens, you don't have control of the confirmation anymore. Uh, if you go to deviant underscore apple dot com, that's the website of my good man Esteban Salinas. He is selling these prints. I believe through the weekend he has a sale on these. There's only a hundred of them produced. He signs them, numbers them. And they're only out of 100. So if you like that, if you love that cover like I do, you may want to pick that up. Um, it's, it's, he's got a discount on it. So normally I think he would be charging way more than 35 bucks, But with the discount, so with shipping, you're going to be maybe a little over, you know, maybe a little over $40 with shipping. But really, really nice looking piece. Uh, I would highly recommend... Um, that you pick up one of his, you know, his all his website has a lot of different uh, types of art on there. So, uh, you know, I think he's got it. Um, I know he's got lithographs or, or prints available rather of that Frankenstein cover, which is cool. And I know that I think that one sold out the uh, rejected dead girl. I believe that one sold out. So yeah, the, the, his prints do tend to sell out. So just be aware of that. Um, Deviant Apple. Inc.com. That's his website. Go check him out. All right, guys. Uh, look for my next video on Friday. I'll have the Hot 10 list by CBSI reviewed and also the cover price top 20 list. Um, I'm also potentially going to be on a live stream tonight with Metaphorical. Um, he does a live stream every Wednesday evening around 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So I'll usually go on there and go on the panel for... Usually I'm on there at least a half hour um, talking about certain topics. I don't stay on there. I don't tend to stay on there too long, but just a real busy schedule these days. Uh, also, I did get a verbal commitment from Jim's Comics that he's going to have me on his channel. Uh, we're going to have a special guest, uh, Esteban Salinas. That's either going to be Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, so... As soon as I have that confirmed, um, I will post it on Instagram, and probably over the weekend I'll also mention it on one of my videos. So keep an eye out for that. It should be a really good show. Uh, I've done 
one on my channel before having Jim on, and we talked about comics, and just we had a good time, and uh, I think it was well received. Um, my going on his channel is a big deal for me because it will promote my my YouTube channel dramatically. He's got a lot of subscribers, uh, and I do have a lot of his subscribers that subscribe to me as well. But uh, that's great exposure for me to to be on his um, on his podcast, and I think he's also going to have Nick from Key Collector Comics also on the on the show. So that'll be a lot of fun. So look for that. It's either going to be Tuesday or Wednesday night, one of those two nights. We'll get that nailed down here, hopefully over the weekend. Hope you guys have a great uh, rest of the week, and I'll see you back here on Friday. Thanks.